welcome back this is a continuation of our previous video so if you have not watched that i would advise you go back to our channel on and watch my last video so that you will follow up properly on what we are doing here okay or for easy access you can just go to the description search the link there so you can follow us up on how we cut to this um, state okay all right so i've go ahead to cut out my fabric and i've also cut out my this is my my pepper uh, stay okay the lighter one all right then this is my hair stay okay okay so and i've also cut out the fabric this is the front side and this is the center front so as you can see i cut out this one of her stay and two of my uh, uh, pepper gum stay okay the same thing i did also for the uh, side front okay so this is our illusion neck i cut out two for it okay because i want to double the net so i cut it out two and you can see i gave uh, um half an inch here to join it to the uh, main dress and this is for the back okay this is also the back part okay so i'll go ahead to cut out my lining this way again of course you know the night won't be carrying uh, having the lining so i'll just cut out lining for this uh, body then after that i will go and use my iron to iron this out on the fabric i'll first of all iron out this either way you like it either you first of all um iron your hair stay before the the pepper gum stay or um, anyone just iron it i just cut this tray so that it will make the fabric to have a weight so that it won't be falling inside for the cup not to be to be a uh, big for it to be okay so that's why i usually a uh, gum those three times before uh, putting my cup okay so we are going to be doing this work together so i'll just go now iron those then we'll go to the machine and start the joining okay here i have the three panels and as you can see, I've uh, really had to iron it out. Okay, so I've had to go on the tray of them. And I also mushed the the breast points. Okay. I also mushed the breast points at the three sides. Okay, so that it should guide me properly. So I'll just go ahead now to join them. Okay, starting from the down part. This way. So as you are joining, let the notch that you make guide you. Okay. So starting from this down part, I will stitch it out using the half side. Okay. After joining it, we have this. This and that's the hand side. So I've used my iron to open up this. Okay, so I'll go ahead now to bring out to bring this uh, cup, fold it into two so that the two mouths will be together this way. Okay, then mark the center part so you can see, mark it with a chalk. Okay, just to guide me. So I'll just use this now as I fold it into two like this, and I'll put it inside this on the center, making sure that this down edge touches the the under bust. Okay, then the center meets with the center notch that we made inside. So I'll go ahead now and use a very tiny stitch to hold it down here and up here you can as well decide to use your gum rub it at the back at the back of the core 
and commit to the keywords either way you like. I'll do the same thing to this side also. So I'll go ahead and start uh, joining my knights. As you can see, I'll join the two knights together. So I'll just use the half inch that I left as my seam allowance to join to join it at the upper part. And after that, I will use my lining to join it. Okay, I don't know if how clear you are seeing this. Just get the midpoint. Okay. Just get the midpoint of the net, then use your pin to hold it at the midpoint of the dress. Then you know, so guide it round. Okay. So as you are stitching, you are just you will be pushing it up. Just make sure you guide it properly so that it will avoid a waffles. Okay. After attaching it to the body, just flip it back well this way. And get your lining. I'll join the lining. Okay. I'll just Right here is facing right face. I'll put it this way. But first of all, make sure that the net is inside. Okay. Then place it on the top this way. And make your stitch along here. After you can, if you if you want, you can top stitch it. Then you also do should the line the both side. Then you now turn it in. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did for the front at the back first, joining my uh, back yoke, after which I will turn it up with my lining, okay? And that will be all. Okay, I've carefully lined up the, the yoke, okay, I've attached the yoke to the bodies. Both the back and the front and i've used my um, allowance to join the both side so we go ahead now to cut out the the lining i also use one inch to tape out the neck using the fabric so i'll go ahead now to cut out the the peplum for it Okay, for the peplum, it's uh, it has uh, a key split. Uh, it's a key split peplum. So because of that, we will making uh, use of seven twenty degrees. Okay, so that is to say that the waist will be divided by six point two eight. So whatever thing we have, we have it into two. I don't know if it's clear enough. I will cut the normal round waist, then I'll cut another one. Okay, to make it seven. 20 all right okay so what i would do now is to first of all know our waist measurement then divide it by the circumference okay which is a uh, 37 divided by 6.28 so whatever thing you have you cut it first then you cut another one then you join it and pleat it at the waist of the fabric okay so when i divided it i have a uh, five Point eight uh, nine, so I can equally just decide to approximate it. So when I do that, I'll be having six inches. So then I will determine the length of my um, the length of the peplum. The length of the peplum I'm working with is uh, um, nine inches. So that nine plus six will give us fifteen inches. So here, when you are folding. You just make sure that you have up to that uh, 15 inches, okay? All right, so just fold into two, then fold again. All right, so here, we're we'll using this part now as the midpoint, okay? So from here now, I will start my measurement. I will first of all measure my six inches round. 
just make sure that you measure at the tip this way so just measure the six inches round And you can go ahead to to connect it like so and after this I will take my nine inches so I'll be adding an extra half inch for the hemming so I'll be making nine and a half inches so I'll just mark those nine and a half okay I want to cut down this the length first before cutting out the the upper part because I will be using this one to cut out the second piece. I'm doing this because I want my the ki the kissing to to be that full. If not, I might just decide to take without joining it. I might decide to just uh, plus the waist by two, then divide. Okay, then here yeah, instead of using this six, I'll be using two of. It's still the same thing. Instead of using six here, I will measure two of. I will still have the same thing, but I want to to join it so that this place will be fuller enough for me. Okay, all right. Okay, so here I have my two peplons. So I'll just go ahead to open up this part. I'll be joining one this way. So this part now will be the part that we enter the the zipper area. So I'm going to reduce here. As you can see, it's this it comes out here more than here. So I'm going to reduce it like so. You can just take like one and a half or two inches down. Okay. So I'll go ahead now and use our pepper gum stay to gum this so that it will give us a standing effect. I'll also cut out my lining for it. Okay, I've gone the peplum with my medium gum stay. So I'll go ahead now and I'll join the two first. I'll join the two sides. Then after which I will use my lining. Okay, I'll use my lining to hold them up. Then from here, I'll use the lining, turn it this way. Then line the down part the sides then i will turn it out then attach the waist to the waist of my um, dress and that will be all okay so this is the top and the point thank you so much welcome back thank you so we'll meet in my next class Bye.